it's Nabila with Mailment and today I'm going to show you how you can create an email campaign sequence to add them to your automation workflows. So let's get started. To create the email sequence for automation, you need to have Mailment free and pro installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. You can see that I've already done that and now I'm going to show you how to create one. All right. So let's go ahead and click on the campaigns module. I've already created an example for you guys, but I'm going to show you that later. First, let's see how you can create one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on plus new campaign. So once I do that, you can see that this pop up model has appeared. So here I'm going to click on the prepare sequence for automation option. So if I click on this, you'll see a similar uh, window appear like the other ones, the regular campaign and the email sequence campaign. So here some things are different. Now in this window, you won't be able to see any save as draft or send button. All right. Here you have only the publish button since it will be published and you can use it anywhere in your automation sequences. All right. So let's go ahead and click on design your email. So if you do that, you'll see the previous ready email templates we have, or you can also use one from your safe templates. So if I cross this, uh, I'm not going to edit anything here. I'm just going to show you. So if you click on the plus icon, you will see another email uh, window appear here, right? So this is similar as the email sequence campaign. You can also set a specific delay between the emails, however you want. So basically, this is the same as the email sequence campaign option, but here you can use it for your automation sequences. So I'm not going to edit anything here. I'm going to show you the example one that I created. All right. So if I go back to campaign, you will see the one I have just created is here as a draft. And the one I have created priorly is named welcome email. So if I go inside it, you can see that I have prepared three email sequences. So this is an example for a boutique shop. All right. So first, if I click on edit template, you'll see that I have created an email that welcomes them to my shop. And then I'm going to offer them a specific coupon code for them to check out with a 10% discount. So this is basically going to be my first email in the welcome series or the onboarding series, whatever you say. So if I click on next, this is saved. Now I'm going to go to the second email. So basically I have set the delay as three days for the second email to be sent to my new uh, subscriber. All right. So if I click on edit template, you'll see in the next email, what I did was offered them some product recommendations. All right. So if they want, they can explore the store with these products. If they haven't purchased for with the first coupon code I offered, they can go ahead and purchase now with these product recommendations, right? So now what I'm going to do is show you the next email. All right. So if I click on next, you'll see that I have an email three. So if I click here, you'll see that I have added the delay as seven days and then Here's my email. So basically in the final email, what I did was ask them to follow my social channels. So if they regularly follow our social channels, they will get updates about our launches and deals. And that's exactly what I wrote in the last email. So the purpose of this last email is to bring them to my social channels so that I can promote them further with social media marketing as well. You can also add your contact details here in the email as well. So that's about it for the email. So if I click on next, I'm simply going to go ahead and update it, even though I haven't changed anything. If you change anything between the emails, what you have to do is simply update it and it will be automatically updated in the automation sequence as well. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on the automations module. Then I'm going to click on new automation and let's say I'm going to use it for opt-in welcome email automation sequence. So if I click here, so basically this is my automated sequence. I can change anything inside of it and let me show you how you can do it. So 
after they submitted the subscription form let's say my form is newsletter subscription all right then what i'm going to do is assign a tag to them so let's say it's a new lead so what i'm going to do is add a tag new lead and then assign it to it now i can set a specific time delay here so let's say i want to set the time delay as 10 minutes if i do that now the next option is send an email but since i have already created a welcome email sequence for them i'm going to simply delete it and then add the action as email sequence so if i do that and if i select the drop down here in the settings you'll see that my published welcome email sequence for automation has appeared here so if i select it and then if I click on start workflow, now what's going to happen is whenever someone submits the newsletter subscription form, they will be assigned to the tag, which is the new lead. And then they will get an email after about 10 minutes, the first welcome email. And after three days, they will get the second email. And after seven days, they will get the third email. So whenever someone submits the form, they will automatically get those emails and you don't have to set them up manually. So this is how you can automatically nurture your leads with a welcome series without having to do anything manually. So this is how you can add an email campaign sequence to your email automation workflows very easily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video with a new topic. Take care.